Hi there, Eric Dystrick here at the ending of day one of Kamikaze Expo in downtown Los Angeles. And as you see here is my best friend Albert. What's up? <laughs> how you guys doing? <laughs> and uh, Albert, I'd like to tell you, um, how do you like it now that you're going for now three days at LA Comic Con, also known as Kamikaze Expo? I mean, well, I've been here last year, and um, of course, you know, it was only for like Halloween and stuff like that. Uh, prior to this, I really didn't know what Kamikaze was all about, and uh, of course, uh, it was recommended by you. <laughs> and then um, I was like, okay, so let me see if I can find the time, and you know, you know, we can find the time and all that kind of stuff to see what it was, you know. And then all of a sudden, you mentioned that Stan Lee was running this. I was like, oh, Stan Lee, okay. you know, me being a huge fan of Marvel, I'm like. Might as well, you know. Just, you know. <laughs> yep. And uh, another question is, um, what was it like uh, experiencing your Kamikaze Expo visit for the first time last year? Uh, to be honest with you, it was actually really, really amazing. To be honest with you, I mean, I've never went. I never really went to a uh, convention like this before, and it was actually, it was actually really awesome. I mean, it was, you know, you, you saw a lot of guests, and I mean, I saw a lot of. You know, guest appearances and all that. Well, it was only for like that day because I didn't go the entire weekend. You know, and this year it's going to be different because I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going for the entire weekend and all that. And uh, it was actually pretty cool. I actually bought some stuff last year, which was really amazing. You know, I ended up buying like a poster, ended up buying like um, <coughs> pins, and uh, it was it was really amazing. I mean, I mean, if 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 there's any place that you want to buy like comic books and like, or in some instances like knives and stuff like that. <coughs> Kamikaze is definitely the place to come. <laughs> and <laughs> last question, <laughs> what is it like walking around Staples Center? As you can see, home of the Lakers, Kings, and um, I believe it is the um, Clippers. Well, I mean, I mean, it's not the first time I walked down the Staples Center. I mean, I've walked down the uh, Staples Center so many times, you know, it just feels like, you know, to be honest with you, um, one time, like during during a, one time during a, my birthday was on, I think it was like 2006, 2007, somewhere around there. Uh, my brother actually did me the courtesy of um, actually buying me a ticket to see Red, to see like uh, WWE Raw. Of course, you know it was never really televised. It was just for the fans and all that kind of stuff. But for me, you know, getting inside Staples Center for the first time, it was actually quite amazing. And. Um, you know, I haven't been back to Staples Center in a while. I mean, I want to come back to Staples Center, you know, because, you know, I mean, aside from, like, the games and, the and of course, the wrestling events, you know, I really want to come to see, like, a concert, you know, because, you know, as, as I heard, you know, Staples Center is, like, really, really awesome for concerts and all that kind of stuff. I, I should tell you, though, that um, I actually went to the Nokia Theater one time. Uh, it was back in 2009. It was, like, before Christmas. I saw George Lopez in concert, live, well, in Wu-Tang Clan, <coughs> excuse me, in Wu-Tang Clan terms, live and uncut, if you ever heard that song, you know, and uh, it was actually pretty amazing, and uh, of course, the Nokia Theater is not even called the Nokia Theater anymore, now it's called the Microsoft Theater, which is like, what the hell, <laughs> you know, but uh, of course, you know, most people who've lived around downtown LA almost half their lives, we, we know it more as the Nokia Theater, and, mm. you know, it's pretty, you know, it's pretty cool to, you know, like I said, you know, passing down Staples Center, you know, it's really a blast. It actually brings back memories because it was around this time, the night time, that I was actually going in to see to see the wrestling event. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, Eric Dyser here, reporting after day one at Kamikaze. Stay tuned.